All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, actually woke up at like six thirty, seven a.m. Because like at first I thought it was the smell coming from the leftover detergents of my sleeping uh, headphone thing, uh, and maybe it was, but it actually turned out it was actually the super of the building actually cleaning the the hallway with the that annoying smell. And I didn't realize it until an hour later, until like it really hit me in the face in the bedroom. So uh, at least one of the nice things uh, when I move out of here is, you know, I have my own damn house and then we'll never have this problem again. Uh, well, rather, I will not have this problem again. But I mean, on the other hand, I also kind of went to bed a little late uh, last night too. Because I wound up spending like six, seven hours just on... Uh, 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 all right, let, let me... Uh, yeah, I can do this. Game Dev Classified on uh, Reddit, right? And here, people actually post, like, their work. Like, you know, uh, concept artists, 3D animators, 2D animators, icons, and all that stuff for the game. And then, more, and more importantly, I was looking for people who could compose music. Uh, so I, you know, put, bookmarked a lot of people, and I already have... Basically, this one guy that just, like, he just graduated from, like, an actual film college, right, in England. So, it's going to be pretty awesome. Now, most of these people that are for hire, they actually are outside the United States. So, um, and then, like, now now I, I mean, I didn't finish listening to Nick Fuentes' uh, last night's show. Because, uh, actually, I was expecting him to unveil the, uh, his new live streaming thing that, that's just for him. So I'm actually curious to see how he's doing, because apparently he's actually doing his actual own live streaming service thing. So it belongs to him. So it's still not uh, decentralized, but it's obviously for his own use, essentially, it sounds like. Yeah. So in my case, I'd still have to wait for BitChute live streaming, right? That'll be the true global uh, decentralized platform. But then, yeah. Now I'm actually kind of curious. Once we go all this way with like you know this right wing stuff, like what's going to happen to like you know outsourcing? That'll be like the next logical thing. Well, you know, you, people in America should not be allowed to outsource. They are for, they should be forced to hire American. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but the problem is I've noticed that you know I think I saw one American dude posting on Reddit and his work was terrible and he wanted like you know a decent amount of cash too. It's like, it's like. Like, like, no, I'm not going to do that. Because sometimes it's not even about the money. It's actually about the quality, too. Like, if, if you just don't have the skill for it, like, you're not getting hired, right? Especially since this is my thing, right? My baby. Like, it literally is my baby, right? You know, I made my first movie. Um, and I guess if I wanted to make money off of it by just peddling it off to, like, boomers, essentially, yeah, I could probably make some decent cash with it. I guess if I ever get super desperate, I'll do that. And then I'll have to deal with the union eventually, right? Because technically, I had to do it under SAG New Media contract, so I could get like you know people to work on it for free. Uh, going forward, I am not going to be having this problem, right? You know, I'm going to be owning all this shit, right? Now it does appear that some people, some musicians do actually want rev share for their music, so you know it's like, eh. Like, it's, it's going to be a problem, right? So, because, hey, I don't want to be controlled by other people, but on the other hand, I also, like, they, they say, yes, you know, you're getting a lot of value out of it because my music's amazing. But here's the thing. They get a lot of value out of it, too, because they're getting free promotion. Because guess what? They're going to find out who's, who composed the fucking music, right? So, you know, and I'm the one, you know, maintaining the servers and basically giving them constant free marketing. You know how valuable that is? Like, we both help each other out. So... Yeah, it's always it's 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 always like like the, the most difficult thing about business is actually two things. One, do you have the skill and ability to learn? Because obviously you need to know how to do whatever it, it is you're going to do in your business. And number two, you got to worry about people constantly bitching about fucking money. So uh, yeah, but the good news is it does seem like it's generally accepted that uh, it is a buyout. So I do get uh, all the rights. Of course, I'll, of course, you know, they can at least get credit, right? Which, of course, I will, because I didn't compose the music, right? So I'm more than happy to give... In fact, I like giving people credit, right? Because um, I want people to know the genius behind, you know, uh, I almost I better not say my thing, uh, the, name, the name of my game, right? You know, so yeah, like, because when you think of Star Wars, right, what does everyone think of? Spaceships, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, I already said lightsabers, right? And of course, the music, 
right? You know, and sometimes the music is probably like the first thing people think of, right? There's a reason for that. So, you know, so in my case, I might as well just go all the way and just pay for like really high quality shit, all right? It won't look great at first. <laughs> I mean, I'll try to make it look okay, but you know, yeah. Cause, and then, so I spent last night doing all the uh, outsourcing looks. The reason why I'm not clicking on it here is because uh, it actually shows people's emails, so I don't want it to show up on this video. So, because uh, obviously they're looking for work, right? So they're posting their contact info. So, you know, when, when my shit blows up, you know, I don't want like, you know, people going back to these old videos and then like, hey, let me just spam these people, right? And, 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 and then it'll blow back toward, towards me. So I, get, I don't want to accidentally dox people. I think that's basically what it is. So, uh, yeah, so I'm getting some good excitement out of it, but I'm trying to control my emotions, too, because I have to be cognizant of what Jesse has always said, like, just all thoughts are lies, and, you know, you feel good, then you feel bad. That's the, that's Satan working through you. He's like, oh, okay, well, that's like, you know, it's actually a little bit similar to, like, Buddhism, too. You don't want to get too emotional. In fact, they encourage no emotion. So it's like, well, that's kind of bland, right? Because this is still about passion. So it's like, you know, how, how, how do I... How do I fit all these conflicting ideas and that's why ultimately i'm thinking about the immigration thing because you know because we're gonna win conservatives are gonna win but what's gonna happen right like it'll be this I, I i really do wonder is it i mean i actually think this is what's gonna happen we'll just veer too far to the right and then we'll all have to become left again and then we veer too far to the left and then that's where we are at now and it's a never-ending you know uh no, i can't i don't want to get i can't flag this video uh let's just say um you know certain certain acts without our consent kind of actions you know you know pumping around and then uh yeah it's like on and on and on and the cycle goes and i want this cycle to end so i, I think honestly i think it'll, it'll be fine or at least it should be fine once you know illegal immigration is mostly stopped and then legal immigration is just simply brought down to like you know something a lot less People are only going to get mad. People are only mad because there's just so much immigration. That's why it's just too much. Um, but in my case, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. There's a reason why I'm outsourcing, right? Because well, a, I can't do it myself, so I have to hire someone. And then b, you know, what am I going to? Well, I mean, even though I live in New York City, like, where the hell am I going to actually physically? <laughs> it's like, no, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go on on the internet. So, yeah. And besides, even if they did. Well, let's say this country ever did become very hardcore right wing, and they just said no outsourcing, no no immigration, no blah blah blah, and then eventually that does harm my company because it's like, well, shit, we we need composers, we need artists, we need you know blah blah blah, all right? And there's gonna be a lag time between when art and music schools in America actually start teaching Americans essentially how to actually do these things because we'd actually because we actually because our college system sucks, nobody learns anything. Right, and on top of it, it gets saddled with debt, like, and it's all done on purpose so that you have to outsource, right? Because basically, Americans don't know what they're doing skill wise, and then if they do know what they're doing, they're gonna they charge a lot more money because they have to because they need to pay off those student loan debts. And someone like me is like, I'm not gonna pay you like five thousand dollars, you know, for like three minutes of music, it's like, you know, you I'd rather hire, um. The people like the people that Hideo Kojima, um, you know, used for his music, right? For Metal Gear Solid series, right? Uh, Hideo Kojima, right? You know, this brilliant guy made like, well, he basically made Death Stranding. I don't know, it's, it's a little weird, but he basically is the godfather of the entire Metal Gear series and like all these other famous, amazing video games. All right, I'm gonna hire this, and I don't give a shit what people say. All right. You know, so it's like, you know, people like people, are, people have to also remember capitalism still applies, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that, that, that stuff's just going to happen. And now that I'm actually thinking about these things, cause I'm going to have people complain cause the left is going to complain. It's like, you only have white people in, in your game. Why is everyone conservative? Oh my God. It's like, there's no diversity, even though they'll actually be, you know, it, actual international, you know, to, like, I think for now the starting vendors will be white people, obviously myself, so I've got Chinese covered. Um, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but there is going to be a woman 
that will be a vendor, obviously. Uh, did I say Indian? Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, because I like Jesse Lee Peterson so much, he's going to be a vendor too. I think he'll probably be selling medical products, right, it's for your character, so you get like heal up and stuff, right? Because obviously he's, you know, in real life a preacher, so I don't imagine him being in combat, right? You know, because like he's a priest and everything, so you know it's consistent with that. Um, and then, yeah, I'll have other people. Right, and then on the right, they'll just complain like, "Well, you, you know, you shouldn't be outsourcing. All right, you gotta be 100% American." It's like, dude, it's like I'm, I, <laughs> I just can't do it. Right, it's like, where am I gonna find it? And, and then it's gonna be more expensive because you know it's, because uh, because like the music composer actually is in England. Right, he's a white, he's a young white dude, and he's very good at music. He actually goes to the London, like, you know, symphony halls and shit. So he actually hires actual musicians. So, and, you know, that's John Williams, too. So, like, there's a very artistic reason, because it's about the culture, too, you know. Um, I don't know. What does America... See, that's the other problem, too. American music nowadays is just stupid, like, uh, hip-hop, rock, and pop music bullshit, right? That's not what I want. And that's the other thing, too. Our culture... Like... I didn't just realize that our whole situation is dysfunctional, and then I'm the one that has to deal with it, and I'm the one that ultimately gets the fucking blame for like what other people are doing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Now imagine running a multi-billion-dollar empire, and then like you see all and know all this stuff, and then you just wind up doing like what the billionaires are doing. Yeah. You know? So, and that's kind of like what Nick Fuentes was getting at, but I didn't finish it. So, I'm kind of curious to see how this is all gonna, you know, go down. It's interesting too because. Nick Fuentes even said he's not a socialist and he's not so much a hardcore free market capitalist, right? You know, he doesn't subscribe to, he's more like a centrist, right? He wants something that's just good for America. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, that's going to be dependent on everyone's empathy level, right? Because this is what will happen, right? I'm just going to just basically start up another office. I mean, I have to do that anyway because my game's going to be played worldwide. So you have to have offices worldwide, right, to code everything. Make sure the servers are running. And I'll just have all my shit on a different country. Because there's going to be at least one, preferably a European or white country, right? That isn't going to be retarded. And then that's, I set up shop there, right? I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be England, though. Because I don't want to deal with the, you know, domestic terrorism problems that they have. But uh, Germany could be okay. Despite the right, because uh, my programmer Mitch, right, he lives in um, Germany. He actually told me that the uh, refugees in Germany are all ro are actually relocated to the suburbs, which is where all the conservatives live. So I was like, ah, okay. And in my case, I go to a city anyway because I I would need to be in a city. So, yeah, I just do that, right? You know. So yeah, I tell you, I'm a, I actually know a lot about economics too. So there is actually a reason why you do want immigration and outsourcing and all that stuff. Right, you know, like America, remember, because remember American history, we actually did that. No immigration, no economic thing, no trade, no nothing. Right, the very same people who voted for that shit. I think, I think it really, I think it was under uh, President Monroe or Andrew Jackson. This was really like 1810s or 1820s. Uh, I forgot the exact date, but very early American history, because everyone's like America first. Yeah, right. Well, they took it way too much to the extreme, and then they're like, "Okay, you got to open up the borders. You got to open up, uh, you know, trade. We're, we're we're dying on it. The very same people. So uh, that that's essentially what I'm kind of hoping will not happen, but it could happen. But uh, either, either way, uh, uh, I'm not worried too much about it because again, don't worry. That's you know the path of Satan, like literally. All right, fear, doubt, chaos, all that stuff. But yeah, you know, it's it, it's pretty exciting, right? So I just I'm, I'm just trying to think, what's the 2D animation or sprites gonna look like? And then, yeah, so that, that's where I'm at right now. So anyway, uh, wow, 14, 15, 14 minutes and fifteen seconds rant. So anyway, it's interesting stuff in crypto. Um, oh yeah, where are we up to anyway? Oh yeah, Cloud World number three forty five. I I again I completely forgot yesterday was holiday so uh so this week will just be a four-day week um i guess we'll soon see but uh bitcoin interest for this week is actually down to 11 worldwide so uh yeah yeah the normies are not taking too much interest all right so crypto still seems to be in a state of flux but at least it's starting to get a little more stable uh, i'm not sure why everything's up green because these prices seem to be the same uh, or lower 
but it's not going down too much either. So it should be about the same. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, but I mean, it's on a rolling 24 hour basis. So Bitcoin donuts is at 62.3%. So it's finally come down a bit. So that means the altcoins are probably recovering as we can see here, uh, relative to Bitcoin, uh, 24 hour volume has cooled down a bit to 161.5 billion. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Bitcoin's at 9,800 bucks a piece or a little under that. It does look like it's starting to flatline, but who knows if it'll, uh, drop a lot more or not. Uh, Litecoin's at 73.57, uh, so it's up 2.73 percent. But if you look at the price here, it's it's just kind of flatlining. It's flatlining a little bit towards the upside, but um, I don't know. We we definitely just need more time to see what that where where this is going. Uh, so pretty much green across the board. Um, so I'm guessing between yesterday's video and today, it must have went down further. I guess, and then it started going back up a bit, and then flatlining. And I think I think that's why these numbers are like off. Like, but it's off in a good way. So you know, I'll, I'll take it. I don't, I don't give a shit. Uh, Steam is at twenty two point eighty cents. So, yeah, see, this thing went down a lot, but it's up eight percent. Yeah, these numbers are a little off today. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm happy. Uh, GPTC, of course, is down, but it's probably compensating for the fact that. Uh, Bitcoin went down, went from ten thousand two hundred to the, like ninety seven. So, uh, of course, no options data. I mean, they may never have options. All right, so JFC Coin is actually undergoing something kind of interesting right now. Um, so, someone bought a ton of JFC coins we saw it yesterday, and then today, I guess also it went as high as five, right? Um, five substitoshi. So it's been a long time since it hit the five. I think what happened was. Someone, um, excuse me, someone uh, probably removed, like, removed this really giant sell order for JMC coin. Uh, and, and then and then someone just bought it up, up to five, and then he put it, he put the sell order back in. Now, that being said, this might actually not be too bad, because obviously I'm making the game. So once, you know, once it's further along in development, I implement the coin payments option, then I can actually start looking into actually just buying up a lot of this cheap uh, JMC coin. Because right? from what I can tell, people still don't really watch the video. They, they don't really watch, even follow my Twitter or anything, right? So I'm going to use that to my advantage and scoop up all these cheap coins. And then once we implement JFC coin payments uh, on coinpayments.net, I'll have to pay the 10,000 euro fee in like a couple of years or whatever. Uh, then I can see how this thing's just going to skyrocket in price. Because guess what? You know, well, you want that unlock, you know, you, you better start using JMC coin. All right for Google and Steam and Apple, I think I I think I think all the unlocks must use their payment platform. So you know if uh, so let's say I mean I don't know what the unlock's going to be. I'm still, still figuring out. But let's say I have an auction house. I mean I don't know when that'll come out. That's going to be actually be pretty hard ish. Mostly because like I can create one on my own. The problem is because I'll be using Microsoft Azure PlayFab. Uh, they're going to develop their own auction house functionality eventually, so it's actually going to possibly very it could very well conflict. Actually, I think it probably will conflict with their thing. So it's like, it's like you know, what do I do? Um, and they said it's very complicated too, so that's going to make the bug problems even worse. Actually, it might be unfixable. Uh, and then that, now, and then now I have to redesign it or take down the auction house or have everyone. It's like uh, it, it's going to be kind of nutty. Right to deal with so, but let's say, but let's say, but I'm definitely gonna limit the slots everyone can have on the auction house because I don't want it to be like World of Warcraft where you could just spam whatever you want, right? So it's just it's like it still amazes me to this day that Blizzard even allows that, right? Tarkov does not do that, and I will not either. But uh, let's say you want you know an extra couple of auction house slots. That's actually gonna be pretty valuable. Yeah, you know you're gonna have to pay like five bucks for that or something, right? Two bucks or three bucks. Right. Uh, eventually, I'll have the city building portion out. Right, and eventually, I'm still trying to figure out what the premium option is going to be. All right, and I'll probably just set it to like something kind of expensive, like twelve or fifteen bucks a month. Um, and but it's optional, so you don't have to buy it. And of course, you'll get like extra experience, extra currency. Um, I don't know, maybe a global discount from the merchants, 
something like that, right? And, and then as I add more content to the game, you know, the premium option, you know, will give you more stuff, right? So it'll so it'll start off kind of expensive, and people are like, nah, that's really expensive. Yeah, well, yeah, because the content's not out, but I'll be improving on it, right? You know, uh, through the years. So yeah, hopefully through the years, right? Because who knows how, maybe, because I, cause I actually think, because I think the biggest point of failure for me is actually going to be deep platforming. So that's why I can't go too crazy on the uh, ideology. But now that I wrote the first quest text, that will also match the theme of the uh, show and slash game. Um, yeah, I mean, I make it a point that political ideology is like stupid. So I'm actually going to be using, uh, you know, all that stuff to like make it a Basically, I have to basically make the game more centrist-ish, essentially, right? Which it shouldn't be too hard, right? So, you know, but I did sneak in, you know, in the very... I didn't sneak it in, but I made it, like, you know, right off the bat. It's like, hey, you're a Christian, right? Just like me, right? So that's going to obviously trigger a lot of people. And then, and, and then I guess I give a little bit of away. But then, yeah, I basically say, yeah, you know, you, you better not tell well, too many people that, right? There's still people with the uh, imperial mindset, so uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, um, at least story-wise. So I'll leave it at that. But anyway, GMC coins, you know, having its nice little sun in the day. You know, so it's also after like what two, three weeks of just being down uh, because of the wallet. So you know, GMC coin will be pretty good. 404 coin uh, continues to just basically just want to pound sand or whatnot. Um, the slowdown is just really hitting 404 coin very hard. I have no idea why. Um, unfortunately, uh, can't worry about it, right? Because there's not much we can do. So, uh, oh, and all these cryptos seem to be going through the same phase. So, uh, let's see, 404. Uh, yeah, the difficulty is only 343. I mean, you can't see because this uh, thing is here blocking it. But, like, it's three. Wait, actually, where does this go to? Yeah, it does my Twitter, at least, so that's good. It's like this. The difficulty on four hundred four is should be going like skyrocketing. It's it's very irritating. So yeah, but I mean at any rate, you know four hundred four should be stable for a while because it's just been beaten up so badly and so undervalued. Technically, this coin is now worth equal or less than JMC coin, which absolutely makes just no sense. Uh, so all right, well whatever. But anyway, you probably get four. You can obviously get four now, but you can wait for five to seven. But you know. Uh, like the problem is like everyone's just dumping 404 no one's really buying 404 right you see as you see here most of us just sell 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 so we're just gonna have to wait wait it out two by two coin remains very stable 62 to 66 so uh pretty solid pretty solid uh in fact it goes up as high as 67 so i mean two by two coin is going to be pretty solid for a while like we have this idiot dumper piece of shit but then it went right back up so that's very good. And it's nice because the supply is still very low on 2x2 coin. So it'll be good for us for a while. Um, yeah. Uh, as for 404, well, it's now entered basically the hyperinflation period. So that's when the price goes down real a lot. Uh, so at that point, we should s hopefully just uh, see some sort of price floor. Right? But the problem is that's dependent on the stupid difficulty going up correspondingly, which is for some reason taking forever. Uh, but it will eventually happen. So Compound Coin uh, has actually improved quite a bit. Now it's at 5,000 to 6,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. I don't think there's anything new, but I haven't bothered to check. But I guess if this coin keeps skyrocketing, I will have to check their Discord at uh, Bitcoin Talk Thread to see if they're actually doing something. Like maybe they came out with a game too or some kind of use case and now people need Compound Coin, right? So, you know... Because it all just does, comes down to use case, right? You know, is it used for something? So anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's an even 5,000. It's a very healthy buy order too. So compound coin is actually uh, doing very, very nicely. Um, interesting enough, maybe everyone's just jumping ship from 404 and they're going into all the other proof of stake coins, right? Well, they will rule that day uh, eventually. So, uh, let's see. But that's the thing, too. The hyperinflation... I mean, I guess if the hyperinflation is a real problem, eventually what I'm going to have to do is... I'll just, I'll just have Mitch uh, probably just um, uh, lower the APR. All right? Because we can't really do a coin swap, right? It's just going to be... It's just so annoying. I'd rather... 
I rather just drop the APR and just basically turn all the coins eventually into like JMC coin because it's really the APR that needs to be lowered so we can control the inflation so it doesn't get out of control, all right? You know, because once you have, because like once you have quadrillions and quintillions of coins, yeah, it start, it starts becoming kind of uh, messed <laughs> messed up. Because what we don't want, uh, actually, let me try and see if I can get the URL. It's on my Chrome. Eight oh eight. Uh, fiber change. What we don't want is this, right? Because the APR is so nutty. I wonder. I wonder who are, I, I. I got. I got that from somebody on the internet. So I, I don't know. For some reason, I kind of just take it. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, I mean, this site seems okay, but I mean, 808 Coin just lists their coin literally anywhere, and all they have a very high tendency to be a scam exchange. So there's no trade volume here on 808 coin, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what a sad, sad end to a coin that's given me so much. But, I mean, that's what happens when, you know, you have the mindset of a piece of shit. All right? I was their biggest supporter. All right? When I was getting hit with spam attacks, right? Nobody supported me. In fact, they just blamed me for the spam attack. It's like these, 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 fuck, these fucking pieces of shit. They actually did get what they deserved, and I was smart enough to get out. All right? So, uh, you know, I still have that video out somewhere on my YouTube. I can't remember which channel. You know, 808 coin scam, me getting betrayed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, but basically we don't want a situation like this, right? This thing is practically worthless. It's now, like, barely hanging on to, like, 3, 2, and 1, you know? Because, yeah, because the hyperinflation is just too strong. So I kind of want something to avoid that. Uh, if we go on an unnamed exchange... Yeah, here we go. If we go to unnamed exchange, this is uh, the future of 404 coin because uh, this because 421 coin has uh, I don't have the wallet on me anymore, but I think uh, one of their explorers are still working said there was around 67 billion coins. So this price is still actually halfway decent. So I think we could work with this, right? The problem is, is there's still a lot more room for 421 coin to eventually go down. So it's like, eh, I, I don't know. Um, but I mean, how far down can it go? Uh, actually, wait, maybe there is a thing here we could use to, um, let me see, market exchange. Cause there is a thing here that, that shows coin info. Um, Cause that's where I got the explorer. I don't know, maybe I could just do this. 421 Coin Explorer. Maybe this is indexed in Google somewhere. Uh, well, we actually blocked each other because it's run by Eggman, so we can't use that. Um, maybe we could use this one. Uh, Explorer, Explorer. Uh, Explorer. I don't know, I don't think this thing works. Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh god, now I gotta check to make sure my IP address is not exposed. Uh, I think we're pretty good here. Yeah, see, they can't even be bothered to uh, you know update the Bitcoin top thread. Now, what's funny is, uh, now what's funny is JMC coins right up there in the suggestions. So uh, <laughs> yeah, take that, Mister Eggman, you stupid asshole. All right, maybe it's under advanced. I mean, to be honest, I really don't care about covering the news because obviously there's really no news. So I just want to just kind of ramble on my own. Uh, let's see. Maybe we could do this. Unnamed exchange uh, 421 coin info. Um, I don't think this is going to work. about unnamed um, no this is not uh, this is the exchange itself all right let me see if I can jeez uh, 421 coin oh wait okay here we go I might have gotten the I yeah because it was an IP oh man doesn't work all right well damn that would have been helpful uh, you tip 421 dog, but yeah. So I think eventually this will be the future of 421 coin. Now, let's see. 404 is still worth a lot more than this, 
All right, so yeah, it still has some time, but I think we could maybe work with this. But 404 coin will probably ha have to be like you know the last coin that gets added to coin payments. And at that point, you know, the microtransactions for the game on the website version is going to have to be pretty high to accommodate you know to maintain JMC for uh, not 420, 404 and 2x2 coins. So you know, that's a lot of economic activity, so it, it, it's a pretty big ask. Uh, but it's obviously, you know, on the list, right, of things to observe, specifically for me. Um, all right, so I guess we'll take a quick look at the things, but, um, yeah. All right, so basically everything I see here is just price predictions, so that's technically a good thing because no news is always a good news. Could Bitcoin be tax-free under a new Trump policy? Uh, we might be interested in reading that. Okay. Status quo become a major Bitcoin crypto and blockchain player. Uh, yes, because us, well, I mean, South Koreans are East Asians, right? Like me. So, yeah, we're very smart, especially when it comes to money. Uh, okay, so Max Kaiser is saying Bitcoin's hitting 400K. Well, he's got to get on my level, all right? Because I said 1 million. And my original safe bet was 500,000. Um, okay, so, all right, so we're at that. Uh, let's refresh this one more time. I have to admit, I am pretty excited about the game, right? You know, so uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, all right? Especially the music. You know, I think the guy that the the, the British guy I want to use is, you know, like, you know, I want to find the next John Williams, you know. So I, I think that'll just be cool. So yeah, and, and then we can create, you know, uh, like, because basically my show is basically an offshoot of Star Wars, right? And then years ago, it's like, well, I'm not gonna be able to get the uh, rights to you know even do something with star wars because obviously i'll just be politically too conservative so i just created my own thing so uh yeah pretty awesome actually i found out that i think the story for battlestar galactica was actually like split off from a video game homeworld right because they both have the same premise right both planets uh you know both your home planets get destroyed and now you have to take to the stars to find a new one uh you know to settle the remaining um survivors of the human race so yeah so my thing is going to be basically somewhat similar but i also have a clearly nationalistic uh well yeah a much more nationalistic view but with clear flaws right because i'm thinking way ahead i'm thinking you know when conservatives have taken over everything all right and in my again in my universe you know the liberals are not uh they don't really exist anymore right i guess i don't want to give away too much but basically something really happened to them and it's not good Right, and then, I don't know, maybe I did mention it. And then, uh, yeah, you know, um, I have to figure out ways to like basically punish people for uh, causing that uh, type of event, right? So, you know, that's gonna be part of the story. Actually, it's gonna be pretty central to the story, actually. All right. So, uh, Ripple Chief says he's a Bitcoin investor, compares blah, 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 Bitcoin exchange Binance over a load. CEO says traffic boom, a strong sign of crypto market recovery. Oh, uh, yeah, because we already been watching this for a few days now, right? The 24 hour volume in crypto is just insane. So that's good. Yeah, people don't want to get rid of their crypto, right? You know, it was possible that maybe they were going for short positions, but so far, I think we're, we're not out of the woods yet, I feel like. But at least if it was going to continue to go down, it definitely would have done so today. But instead, it actually wants to stabilize. So again, it's uh, looking more and more like it was just like a quick hit, you know, quick money fix by the rich. It's like, hey, you know what? You know, elections coming up this year and we got to get rid of Donald Trump. So let's go make, you know, a couple billion dollars in the crypto markets. All right. Because Bloomberg apparently is going to spend half a mil, half a billion, 200 million to 500 million dollars to buy out the election. And Nick Fuentes was actually talking about that. It actually turns out that he hired all the political people uh you know throughout the country and now all the other political campaigns can't find anyone to hire because michael bloomberg stole everybody right giving them the best food giving them the best salaries giving them the best everything it's like yeah you know and guess what if you're if you're a young ideological person right you know like well i kind of need to pay off my student loans uh i kind of want to move out of my mom and dad's house uh i'm i'm really hungry Free food, best, you know, $50 an hour, $100 an hour for Michael Bloomberg, who I know has infinite amounts of money. Yes, please. I don't, I don't give a shit about ideology anymore. <laughs> so, so that's, so yeah, so that's uh, what's going to happen. 
Crypto ALS Burr, okay, more price targets, more price targets, massive crypto treasure hunt set to kick off virtual blockchain world. Uh, I like the thumbnail, but we're not going to read this article, but I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, hey, crypto hit after disaster, F point shuts down, okay, uh, boosting, Buffett sees Bitcoin store of fear, not a store of value, blah, 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 okay, uh, that's pretty old. All right, so let's see, could... Bitcoin be tax free. All right, a senior official for Trump has proposed a new economic stimulus package including tax free investments, which could apply to Bitcoin too. Oh shit, tax free. Okay, a senior president. That's right. I got to file my taxes. Ugh. A senior presidential advisor suggested a new stimulus package include tax free investments outside standard 401ks. The measure is designed to boost for the stock market and could affect crypto investing. New proposals won't be formally introduced until fall uh let's see he wants to boost the stock market because yes it's an election year and trump's all about the money obviously uh and allow americans to buy more stock shares and crypto potentially as bitcoin uh cnbc uh the proposal treats a proportion of household income as tax-free for the purposes of investing outside of thing a plan that allows an employee to divert a portion of their salary in their long-term investments so this might not apply to me because i'm self-employed uh, Larry Kudlow told da, 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 uh, he's creating a universal savings account funded tax free. This sounds familiar. Um, the investment time frame known as capital gains would not be taxed, Kudlow suggests. However, he added that the specifics are yet to be worked out. Uh, you know what? Uh, now, what's interesting is. You know, if Trump really wants to really turbocharge this. Uh, he should just probably just say, "Hey, we're we're introducing more immigration controls." You know, here here's the plan. <laughs> but he's actually, at least according to Nick Fuentes, he's actually been getting better about it. But they're still working out. Okay. But the details and logistics are still being worked out. But he says proposals, the money's being allocated, uh, the contracts are actually being handed out. So we might actually get that wall, right? Even even if Trump just manages to build like a hundred miles of true new wall and no bullshit wall like he's been talking about, yeah, all right, you know, uh, his, his his him being the president is more or less justified in terms of you know a purist point of view. It's like, well, he can, he promised us this, right? So at least he's giving he's actually doing something. So at least Ann Coulter can you know. Uh, not be as uh, anno uh i don't want to say annoying but as angry at trump <laughs> bitcoin tax liability uh it's been a major source of concern for everyone investing in crypto so an investment plan to ring fence a portion of the income would be tax that was tax free uh okay so here's an example a household with an income of 200 per year to invest 10k of this on a tax-free basis uh, that would be very good for me, actually. The tax bank proposals due to be formally announced as early as September are seen as a vehicle for Trump to distinguish himself from socialists this year. Well, he has his keen. Well, if he really wants to. Nah, we already beat that horse already. Oh, he has keen to further accelerate the stock going trend, which is a direct role of the policies. In 2019, a record 55% of Americans were invested in the stock market. Uh, but as the legislation must be approved by the House, currently controlled by the shit libs, such sweeping changes are likely to be a pipe dream in the short term at least. Well, I mean, it depends, right? If they lose control, I mean, tax cuts are usually something that the Republican Party will work with Trump on, right? Because obviously it benefits the billionaires and all the, uh, all the rich assholes that hate, uh, hate you and me in this country. So... Uh, so at least we, so at least we kick and actually yeah a lot of the Demo uh, Democrats and shitlibs are starting to get paranoid because of Bernie because there are actually a lot of true believers of Bernie Sanders there is a lot of them that's why he's going to get the Democrat nomination most likely and they can't and they already tried rigging it against them and the numbers were just too much right you know and on top of that the next best option is uh, Pete Buttigieg right. People aren't going to go for it, right? A lot, uh, for all the virtue signaling of like being tolerant, people are not going to vote for you know Pete Buttigieg, right? So uh, they just won't do it, right? They'll, they'll they'll pretend that they are and then lie about it, right? It's kind of like uh, you know certain like I can't I don't want to be specific, but certain minorities who claim to be Trump supporters, but then when I look at the voting demographics data, right? They consistently keep voting the vast majority of them keep voting democrats so it's like okay and then 
what's especially uh, interesting is the state that somehow votes for Trump, uh, the local representatives, governor, state, whatever, they almost, almost, like a lot of them go Democrat. Like the number, the, there's a number of mismatch as well as 20, 30, 40 percent. So I know for a fact that they have to be lying when they say they're going to vote for Trump because that's clearly not the case. Uh, so, you know, but I mean, you know, well, I guess I could follow that under the story too. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. Um, make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page. And uh, yeah, you know, let's just maybe grow this channel a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really just disliking YouTube, but unfortunately, I have to be here, all right? But, you know, at least BitChute's doing some pretty good work. It's actually growing, uh, to my shock and surprise. Uh, so, yeah, thank you to, like, two, three people that... Because I do actually keep keep track of this, because obviously, I also upload it manually to BitChute. Now that their processing servers seem to be a lot better now, because they've added a lot more hardware, all right? So... You know, I expect the next time to be kind of shitty when, uh, you know, it, it's getting close to the election. And then all the big tech silicon assholes start uh, banning everybody, right? So then BitChute's going to see a massive spike in traffic. So at least that's uh, at least, you know, several months away. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my ramble today. Uh, not a, Again, not a lot of news, but this is kind of nice. So I guess we'll kind of use this as the... Uh, uh, clickbait title, right? You know, Trump might make Bitcoin tax free, you know, maybe. Uh, oh, this resolution, the resolution on this picture is too poor. Can't use that. Um, all right, I like this one. Uh, oh, great. Daily Holdle is now like changing their out, uh, outline on the site again, so that's going to be more crap. All right, I think this is a pretty good thumbnail. So anyway, enjoy your day or night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Judson Chin, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. So uh, it looks like the crypto is recovering. Um, we're not in the woods yet, but this is a very encouraging sign. And it does look like, you know, and this trade volume is still insane. There's a lot of trade volume, right? Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention JMC Coin has like, another three fifty four hundred dollars worth of trade volume which is far more than it normally has so people so the rich especially want cryptocurrency all right the normies are still kind of out of it in fact it's going down this week in terms of search interest so we're still pretty strong so uh assuming uh, the coronavirus doesn't have like anything crazy going on right because uh because the rate of infection has actually slowed down significantly so that's why you don't hear much about the virus anymore which is obviously a very very good thing so and they just had their little profit taking, right? So yeah, I think I think we're well, I think we'll be pretty good. I think we'll be pretty good, uh, but we'll have to definitely see later this week.